Greater August Town Film Festival Gat Fest is thrilled to announce the launch of its 2024 edition. It goes live on June 15th at the Bob Marley Museum. This year's festival promises to be a vibrant celebration of global film and culture, displaying diverse voices and stories from around the world. Well, the Colombian Embassy will host a special community night in Tivoli Gardens, bringing the magic of cinema directly to the heart of the community. This event underscores GATFest's commitment to inclusivity and cultural exchange, fostering a deeper connection through the shared experience of film. Our very special guests this morning are Ambassador of the Republic of Colombia to Jamaica, Emiliana Bernard Stevenson, and Lead Instructor and Director at GATFest, E.K. Campbell. Welcome mm. to Sunrise, ladies. How are you? Thank you so much. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm? Bienvenido a Sunrise. Buenos <laughs> dias. <laughs> Mucho gusto. Eh? Buenos dias. Muchas gracias. <laughs> all I've got. All right. <laughs> all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Oh, and my apologies, you're director of the film that uh, will, will be highlighted, correct? Um, I'm not the director of Gatfest. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm the that producer and yeah. the director of, of the, the premiere mm -hmm. that is showing on the 26th of June. Mm, indeed. Uh, let, let me begin with you, Ambassador, because we, 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 TK... T TK could have just as easily have began this conversation in Patwa. You would have been great at it. <laughs> yes, I would be happy. <laughs> yeah, because, yes. I mean, and that is a conversation that we need to have because of yes. the relationship between Colombia and Jamaica yes. culturally. And, I mean, your, your whole life is testament to that. Ah, yes. but, but speak to us about Colombia's interest mm -hmm. in, in the Gatfest Film Festival. Well, uh, the Gatfest is a great opportunity for us to show... Yeah, uh, the diversity in Colombia. You have, um, like, in the Caribbean coast, you have African descent people. In the mainland, you have mixed color people. And in my archipelago, you have Jamaican descent people. Mm -hmm. yes. So we will talk for you, Patwa, when we're ready. Ah. Yeah. And, and we have our connection, our ties. Mm -hmm. So uh, our interest is like to show the different Colombia that you can explore and experiment through the films. Mm. And oh. now t tell us, E.K., about the film that is being premiered because I've heard some interesting things about it. It sounds tell, fascinating. Yeah, tell us about it. Well, Remembering Tomorrow really delves into dementia and the caregivers, um, what they have to go through whilst looking after persons with dementia. It's, um, it's a very poignant documentary mm -hmm. and I think it's something that we need, especially in Jamaica, as well as the wider Caribbean, just to bring awareness to dementia because it's now on the rise, especially in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I, I, and I know that it's being played at the ruins of uh, Yui as well. Right, that's, yes. the, that's going to be the premiere, am I right? Right, so yeah. every year Gatfest always has a premiere. And um, just to kick off um, the occasion, mm -hmm. and this year, yes, it's at the ruins on campus. Mm -hmm. mm, that's beautiful. Uh, how how easy or difficult was it to take on this issue of dementia? Well, we were approached by a carer, Shauna Kay. Mm -hmm. um, her mum has dementia, and she approached us and asked us to do something, because, you know, we're in film, as well as we have GATFest, we also teach TV and video film production to at-risk communities. Mm -hmm. So she had approached us and asked us if we were interested, and, of course, we said yes. So during the process of filming, we decided that this film could actually be a great premiere for Gatfest. Mm. So that's how really the film came about. Mm -hmm. um, getting persons to speak was not difficult. What was more difficult is to feature the dementia patients. I mean, obviously there are families, they, you know, they don't really want to, to put that out. It does have a stigma. Mm -hmm. And so that was the difficulty that was it. Mm. Ambassador, uh, you know, Dennis had mentioned in the intro that there's a community day, I believe, in Tivoli Gardens. Yeah. And I'm curious to know why Tivoli versus any other community? Well, um, Tivoli, like in my heart, is the first community I visited um, since my tenure here. Mm -hmm. 
and I get in love with the people, the mm. mural, the, the vibes in the community. So we will return with this picture. Then further ahead, we return uh, contributing with some murals. And you know, I, I, I just like the community work. And I feel like uh, they are anxious to receive the help and the contribution of all. So that is my reason to be there this mm. year with the FM. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, again, you speak to the different, uh, the, the multi-layered, the textured nature of Colombian culture. Yes. And, um, you know, partnering with Gatfest for a film that is very Jamaican, um, yeah. <laughs> told, yes, really. told in yes. Jamaican. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, what do you think a, a Colombian reception of such a film would be like? I think it would be excellent. Uh, we have the connection of the, uh, um, I would say, the ethnics, the toys the um, African, um, you know, history. And uh, the film is like um, a life of somebody from Jamaica. Like if you take somebody from Jamaica and put it in the film, it would be the same. Mm. So um, that's why I think it would be wonderful. The people will receive it. And it is in Patois. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is in Patois. I was going to go there, e yeah. EK. I, I mean love how Ambassador says Flem. I like the Jamaican. I spend the amount of time telling the students, Flem. Yeah. And they're like, Flem. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us, I mean, why was it important for this film to be in Patois? Um, we had another film at first. In, in the past, I just wanted to say that yeah. Gapfest is now, we're so happy that ambassadors said we can go in the communities because when Gapfest first started, we were a community film festival. Yes. Mm, we went yes. into the communities and we're actually going back now mm -hmm. and going to go back into the communities with Gapfest. Mm -hmm. And we had another film. What we found is that when we show films in the community, if the film is in Spanish with subtitles, they get their popcorn and they're gone. Because no, even I find it difficult to read subtitles. And you know, Spanish is quite a quick language, so yes. the subtitles mm -hmm. are on really fast. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. I think it was important this year that we got the film and the film was, it, people could understand what was going on. And yes. the past well, I've seen the trailer it's very understandable. I can understand. It's like deep patwa, you know, mm -hmm. like country patwa. Oh, you know. Oh. But yeah. which is different. Yeah, yeah. Which which is is very different. different. it's very yeah. deep patwa. Yeah. But it's going to be, it's understandable. Mm -hmm. And also the visuals, because one thing about Jamaicans, they're very good at watching silent movies, you know, and getting mm -hmm. it. So the visuals mm -hmm. also tell the story. So, you know, for those of us who are interested, where do we go? How do we get tickets or how do we get access to the films? And is it is it one film per day or is it one day with many yeah. films? How, just, mm -hmm. how does right. it work? Right, so June the 15th is our launch. That's invite only. So if you want to come to the launch, you just um, gapfest at gmail.com, G-A-T-F-F-E-S-T, at G at gmail.com that's for tickets the premiere is also invites only so you can apply for tickets there we have our don't forget we have our Jamaican local film night where we have a documentary featuring Gully Bop Oh. Right, so that's really a nice, it's called A Journey Through Salvation, a very, very nice documentary. We have some great local Jamaican films, some great local filmmakers. So I think that is in July, I think around the July the 2nd. So it's running from Ju throughout June, June and the, July. No, June the 15th is, is the... Is the launch, the launch, the launch yeah. and then June the twenty second is, is the, the film. community film night, mm -hmm. and then the twenty fifth, twenty sixth of June is the premiere, and then it kicks off. Got then. you. Yes. Got, Got you. you. Lots Got you. to happen. Yes. Right? So yes. definitely. And we have workshops as well. Mm -hmm. Everything going I love on. That. Absolutely. Yes. I love that. And Gatfest. Give me the, the. It's Gatfest at. You had given us. Gatfest at gmail dot com. Gatfest at gmail and dot com. We have our okay. website as well. www dot gatfest dot com. Gatfest dot com. That awesome. was Emiliana Bernard. Stevenson, ambassador of the Rep Republica de Colombia. Yeah. 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 Si, si, correcta. Ah. Thank you, <laughs> man. <laughs> and and Ike Kamu, uh, director of, produ producer and director of the film Remembering Tomorrow. Be sure to support Gatfest. And when we return, it's Sunrise Quick Fix with Home and Themes. Uh, stick and stay. Mm -hmm.